production of white sugar from cane steps cleaning extraction clarification concentration crystallization centrifugal drying and packaging step 1 cleaning the harvested cane stalks are loaded mechanically into trucks and taken to mills for processing into raw sugar after the cane arrives at the mill yards it is mechanically unloaded and excessive soil and rocks are removed the cane is cleaned by flooding the carrier with warm water at this point the cane is clean and ready to be milled step 2 extraction two or three heavily grooved crusher rollers break the cane and extract a large part of the juice or swing hammer type shredders shred the cane without extracting the juice the pressing process involves crushing the stalks between the heavy and grooved metal rollers to separate the fiber from the juice that contains the sugar next the sugar is separated from the cut stalks by dissolving it in hot water step 3 clarification the juice from the mills a dark green color is acid and turbid the clarification process is designed to remove both soluble and insoluble impurities that have not been removed by preliminary screening the process employs lime and heat as the clarifying agents milk of lime neutralizes the natural acidity of the juice forming insoluble lime salts the muds separate from the clear juice through sedimentation the non sugar impurities are removed by continuous filtration the final clarified juice contains about 85% water and has the same composition as the raw extracted juice except for the removed impurities step 4 concentration to concentrate this clarified juice about 2/3 of water is removed through vacuum evaporation generally four vacuum boiling cells or bodies are arranged in series so that each succeeding body has a higher vacuum and therefore boils at a lower temperature the vapor from the lost cell goes to a condenser the syrup leaves the lost body continuously with about 65% solids and 35% water step 5 crystallization crystallization takes place in a single stage vacuum pan the syrup is evaporated until saturated with sugar as soon as the saturation point has been exceeded small grains of sugar are added to the pan or strike these small grains called seed helps in the formation of sugar crystals the growth of the crystals continues until the pan is full step 6 centrifugal the high speed centrifugal action used to separate the massicute into raw sugar crystals and molasses is done in revolving machines called centrifugals the raw sugar is retained in the centrifuge basket because the perforated lining retains the sugar crystals the mother liquor or molasses passes through the lining the final molasses containing sucrose reducing sugars organic non sugars ash and water is sent to large storage tanks once the sugar is centrifuged it is cut down and sent to a granulator for drying
Step 7 Drying and Packaging Damp sugar crystals are dried by being tumbled through heated air in a granulator. The dry sugar crystals are then sorted by size through vibrating screens and placed into storage bins. Sugar is then sent to be packed in the familiar packaging we see in grocery stores in bulk packaging or in liquid form for industrial use.